Good afternoon. Welcome to our Bible study. This is number 40. And today, if you look at the screen, you say, that's a garbage truck at a dump. Yes. Because today we're going to look at, very briefly, the modern Bibles. We're not going to look at the King James. I wouldn't put a picture of a dump in a garbage truck with the King James. But the modern Bibles, there you go. <coughs> the American Standard Version, what killed America. The Revised Standard Version, RSV. We have the Revised Version of England, 1884. That destroyed England. The RV, not the RSV. The RV 1884, Revised Standard, that's what destroyed England, America, 1901, the American Standard Version. The first outbreak on the Word of God came with the publication of the ERV, that's the Early Revised Standard Version, 1885, 1884, 1885, destroyed England. It's matching part. The ASV 1901. So you have England and you have America. What destroyed these countries? Destroying the Word of God. I said destroying the Word of God because these modern Bibles don't make it better. They destroyed it. And if you go to our family website, you will see that I do PowerPoints. I'm working on the, um, the RSV right now. I got a couple more books in the Bible I want to do before I publish that. But I have the New King James. I have the NIV. And they're perverted. They remove Jesus Christ as God. They remove Jesus Christ. They remove the Holy Spirit. They remove the blood. They remove verses. You know why these new Bibles are so easy to read? Because they remove so many words. They remove so many verses. Of course it's easy to read. There's not that much more to read. You get more out of the King James Bible than you do get the modern Bible. And don't tell me. I'm going verse by verse. When I do the corrupt versions. I know what I'm talking about. There are Christians and preachers and, 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 and deacons who are in churches, head of churches. They sit in the pew every Sunday and they don't know. I know. I earned my doctorate of theology. Not much protest against. I would I'm protesting right now. Unmindful that the ASV contrasted from the KJV in over 36,000 places. 36,000 places the ASV, the American Standard Version, is different from the King James Version. But, you know, it's easier to read. Yeah, you took out. You removed. You changed. I heard a Bible, Bible reading the other day. I forget where it was. And the word they put, never even heard of that word before. And then the King James Version, or the cleanse, something, and it's like, the King James was much simpler than, I don't even know what that word was. Or that the Greek text fundamental, the translation of the ASV, the Westcott and Hort text go back to four videos that we've done. We talked about Westcott and we talked about Hort and we talked about, let us see. You remember we talked about the Oxford movement? We talked about John Newman. Go back. Contrasted from the Texas Receptus, the fundamental 
of the KJV. In over 5,700 cases, pending the publication of RSV, Revised Standard Version, in 1946, that will be next, in 1952, the Christians became unmindful of how the new Bible versions and translations could be used to revert, prevent, and exhaust the truth. I call the modern Bi I call the modern Bibles. I call the modern Bibles the work of Satan. You may not like it. That's tough apples. I believe in my heart and in my soul, and my con. If you are involved in any way of these modern Bibles, any new modern Bibles come out, you are going to lose reward in heaven. The RSV, the Revised Standard Version, 1946-1952. The Revised Standard Version was published in 1952. This version, apparently, amendment of the ASV, 1901. They come from the same dead tree. They come from Alexandria, Egypt. That's not where Christianity came from. Christianity came from Antioch. Not Alexandria. It come from two men, Westcott and Hort, who didn't even believe the Bible, didn't even believe in miracles, did not believe anything of God. And they are roasting and toasting in hell today, and their Bibles will follow. Many don't even know Westcott and Hort. Go back two or three lessons and find out who the father of your Bible, modern Bibles, are. They removed the word virgin in the prophecy of Christ's birth in Isaiah 7.14. Well, if you don't believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, you can't get saved. You cannot be saved. So you can't be saved on the RSV. Because they removed the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. Enough said, throw it in the garbage can. Burn it! With the flames of hell. The other day I seen a Christian. And, I'm good. and I went to go. There's a place here. But they didn't have them out. You can go actually hold. See or even get. The brimstone rocks. Of Sodom and Gomorrah. Well give me a pile of them. And I will use them to set these Bibles. On fire. By the judgment of God upon Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring city. Copyrighted by the Apostate National Council of Church. If you're going to quote from the new Bibles, the modern Bibles, the, the updated English Bibles, you better have a letter from the publishers. Because unlike the King James Version of the Bible, these modern Bibles are copyrighted. You need permission. Now, what I do, I use the fair, the fair law, the fair use law. And there are certain purposes for the fair use law of what I do and how I do it, that I can do it legally. You can. Now, you can go out and you can take the King James word for word for word for word exactly and you can publish it and you can sell it and you have no need of a copyright letter or because the copyright goes to God. But you're going to do any American Standard Revised and all these Bibles say you need permission. And the National Council of Churches hey, there's, some, there's a work of Satan. The version which began the road of forthcoming perversion, perversions. You know, you got sexual perverts, you got biblical perverts of the Word of God. The good news for modern man, 1966. The good news Bible, 1976. Initial edition of good news for modern man, the New Testament in today's English was published in 1966. Virgin present in the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke denoting to the birth of Jesus Christ. The second and third editions published 
and the Good News Bible was published in 1976, Virgin taken or removed out of Luke 127. But it was still in the Gospel of Luke 134 and the Gospel of Matthew 123. If you don't believe the virgin birth, you can't be saved. You can't get saved out of RSV. You can't get saved out of the Good News Bible. There's no virgin birth. And watch this. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Acts 20:28. 20, the blood of God. Was removed in the New Testament references. No blood. There's no salvation. There is no blood in the Good News and Good Good News Bible. Been removed. The Good News Bible is one of the wicked versions, but dispersed by the millions, thanks to Billy Graham and other evangelical leaders. What's wrong with Billy Graham? He supports the Good News Bible, where it took virgin out and it took the blood of Jesus Christ out. That's what's wrong with Billy Graham. And millions have a dead Bible in their laps, in their houses. Thank you, Billy. You compromiser. You started off on fire and, and, and hellfire preacher, but you compromised. And you, you, you know, to get the crowds and get the president and get the fame, you compromised. Billy Graham is an example of an apostate preacher who was once right and went wrong. The Living Bible, 1967-1971. Now, it is paraphrased. It's not really a Bible. And they're honest. It's a paraphrase. The Living Bible, liked by Billy Graham, there he is again. I don't think Billy Graham would ever hold the King James Bible and say, this is the word of God, the very word of God. Billy Graham wouldn't do that. Because he'll get the Christians all upset. He'll get the Southern Baptists all upset. He'll get the worldly Christians all upset. He'll get the babes in Christ all upset. He'll get the carnal Christians all upset. I'll tell you, King James, only King James. Not only am I King James only, but I'm only King James. Absolutely correct. And I'll defend it. <coughs> I know why I believe it. I know why these Bibles I'm talking about today, I don't believe it. You want to sit down with me? I'll break out a computer and I'll show you videos. I could break out the Bible, a King James Bible, I could break out your Bible, or any of these modern Bibles, and I can show you verses. I can show you. I had a preacher sit in my house. He couldn't give me no scripture on another subject, but he couldn't give me no scripture. I gave him scripture. I'm no longer allowed in his church. When I rebuked him on, on his Facebook, he, he blocked me from the Facebook because I was preaching the truth. My preachers don't like me because I preach the truth. Where was I? So, like my Billy Graham and other new evangelical leaders. Not always good if it's new. The author, Ken Taylor. Taylor acknowledges the labor was, was not a word-for-word -word translation, but a thought-for-thought. Thought. That guy's honest. When he came out with his living Bible, I think his is the one, yeah, his is the one, it was for his children. This is not, and he really doesn't call, he, he, I paraphrase the Bible, that's just a thought-for-thought, thought, not word-for-word. I'll give him that credit. He said this uh, with the ASV of the 1901. So he used the ASV. Now, a Bible or a paraphrase for his children, 1 Samuel 20, verse 30, has S-O-B, son of a... <coughs> 
That's a good thing for your children. It says perverse woman. He says, yes, OB. I use you. You swear? Do you cuss? Oh, no, no, no. I don't cuss. I don't swear. I'm a Christian. Your Bible does. You got the living Bible. It says you SOB. Go to 1 Samuel 20, verse 30. You SOB. My grandmother had a living Bible. My I ain't not giving up my living Bible. I'm reading my living Bible. I live up to my living Bible. One day I said, Grandma, this is important. And she goes, yes, Stiley. I says, what if I showed you something in your living Bible? Would you throw it in the garbage can? She said, I ain't getting rid of my living Bible. I opened up the first scene in 20 verse 30. I said, Grandma, read this out loud. And she said, whoa. And she took that living Bible and threw it in the garbage can and went and got herself a King Jimmy Bible. He said, Stiley, King Jimmy. That's a private joke. Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. She called it the King Jimmy Bible. It's a personal, private joke, but that's okay. It was a King James. She got herself a King James. She read the King James. She studied the King James. Well, to her, it was a King Jimmy. Just couldn't. That's the very first person I got out of a modern Bible into the King James Bible. That's the, my grandmother. And she said there was a difference. Yes, there was. No SOB. What do you think? I said, son of a... <laughs> Can't say that. But your Bible can. And there are men in prison. The, the one in the prison I was at, the religious counselor, got all upset. Because they kept coming to it. I need to get King James. I need to get King James. Uh, Brother Stiley, Pastor Stiley, the toy. He says you need. They threw away their modern Bibles. These are men in prison. And went and got themselves a King James. How's that? And they come back just like Grandma. And they say, you know what? There's a difference. There was a di Boy, I see a difference. I've seen the light. And it's not in the modern Bible. So, the New American Standard Version, 1960-1971. The, the NASV, Conservatives, Evangelicals, and Fundamentalists. Oh, now we're getting to the camp here. The four, war, uh, the four word states, the four word, that the NASV, quote, has been produced with the conviction that the words of Scripture as original pen in the Hebrew and Greek were inspired by God. End of quote. <laughs> the trouble? There's trouble. The translation is revealed in this statement. Quote, The translation follows the principles used in American Standard Version 1901 known as the Rock of biblical honesty, end of quote. They ran back to the ASV. What's the ASV? The ASV is the first American go against the king. Go against England. We don't want anything of England. We don't want no kings or queens. We want president. We want the, we want no more taxes. We don't want taxes on our tea, but we got taxes on our gas. We got taxes on our lumber. We got taxes on our soda. We got taxes on our food. We got taxes on our clothes. We got taxes on our paper. We got taxes on our property. We got taxes on our car we got taxes on our license we got taxes on fund taxes if we got inheritance tax we got a death tax we got a living tax we got a birth tax we got a medical tax we got a tax 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 american standard we don't want anything to do with england well look how many bibles go back to the american standard which the tax attacked the King James. And here we go. The fruit of the American Standard is the New American Standard Version. The Good News and the RSV. And the Living Bible. Keep on reading. The principles of revision as stated, quote, 
In the revising ASV, American Standard Version, consideration was given to the latest available manuscripts with a view to determining the best Greek text. The best? So, if it did not meet their best, they didn't use it. Because who becomes the judge? They do. In most instances, the 23rd edition of the Nestle's Greek New Testament was followed. End of quote. After the corrupt Westcott Port Greek text, rather than the Texas Receptus, Virgin in Isaiah 714 was footnoted as, quote, or young woman, end of quote. There's a virgin birth. You don't know the virgin birth. You can't, you don't believe in virgin birth. You can't get saved. You can't get saved by the ASV. You can't be saved by the RSV. You can't be saved by the good news. You can't be saved by the new American Standard Bible. The Gospel of Matthew 18, 11 and Matthew 23, 14 are or have been bracketed in a footnote. Quote, most ancient manuscripts omit this verse, end of quote, or, quote, this verse is not found in the earliest manuscripts, end of quote. That's a complete, absolute lie. They're there. Well, they say it wasn't there. That's because they used the best. When they had a less than best, best that they didn't use, Texas Receptus, it's there. They just didn't want to look for it. Earlier manuscripts, ancient manuscript, it was written in Isaiah. It was written in Matthew and Luke. But who follows the Bible? The New International Version, NIV, 1973, 1978. You know how a lot of these are in the 70s. Backed by the New York Bible Society. who New York. Scumville of America. The United Nations. They acknowledge the NIV translators signifies, quote, broad spectrum in evangelistic and and yeah, I can't say the word, and visual Christianity, end of quote. What's that say? Modern Christians, modern sissies, Christians who don't know nothing about the Bible, who don't know nothing about Jesus, and let's have a party and hook up and get, uh, let's dance before the, the, the sacred golden calf. Where there's no hell, no repentance, and no real Bible preaching. Today's church. Today's apostate church that Paul warned Timothy. Reading and studying the text, you'll find that the NIV omits out the several verses and portions that the ASV and the NASV add or subtract. So the New, the new International Version went further out than the ASV, the New American Standard Version. They went on their own tree lip. And God's going to come along with the battle axe and <laughs> you're dead. The New King James 1979-1982 The New King James Version translators entitlement to have quote Preserve the authority and accuracy, end of quote, and, quote, improve, improve the purity and beauty, end of quote. You can't have authority and accuracy if you're trying to approve. You can't have a dishwasher fluid or soap and say, you know what? We find out lemon works great. So what we're going to do is we're going to put lemon in our dishwashing soap. 
So what we have is we have the preserve authority and accuracy of our product, which we have added to lemon. Well, that's not the original. That's not accurate. But the original KJV. The New King James verse uses the underlying Texas receptive Greek text. Many marginal representations, marginal notes, to orientation to modern critical texts upon which all the modern verses are seated on the beat. So the New King James is, and this is the most deadliest Bible, it's almost accurate to the King James. But the places where it does change the blood, I mean, the Jehovah Witnesses can use the New King James, where they don't believe that Jesus is God. If the Jehovah Witnesses can grab your Bible and agree with your Bible that Jesus is not God, you don't have a Bible. They use the New World Translation. I wouldn't use a Bible that had world or new. <clears throat> Don't give me a Bible. I got a new. Don't give it to me. Because I'm going to start looking for faults. I'm going to start looking for sin. I'm going to look where the devil put his hoof print. And you Christian ain't going to like it. Now you got the Thomas Nelson Publishing Company. You got to watch out for his Bible. Because he also has a new, he also has the American Standard Version. He also has a Revised Standard Version. More than a few editions of New King James dispersed by the Thomas Nelson Publishing. The New Testament was copyrighted 1979. The entire Bible was copyrighted 1982 and 1990. You need permission for the New King James. You know, you know what I should do if I start hearing people quote these modern Bibles. Maybe I should contact the the, the copyright. And say, hey, I heard him quote a I heard him quote from your Bible, and then maybe I ought to start doing that. Maybe I ought to turn them in. But Paul says anything about that taking a Christian to court and suffer the loss. Let God deal with it. You know, there's a thing, and we're, we're done. There's a thing of the King James Bible. It's it's me. You can hold the King James Bible. King James. And let me show you. This might be easier. Book of Acts. Okay, we want Acts 7. I want to show you. Look for Acts 7. Alright. Move me over here. Alright, you got the screen. You see this verse right here? Even the King James Bible, check it out. Acts 745. See its highlight. There are King James Bibles out there that are not King James, and this is one of the places you look. Now, if your King James Bible says, which our fathers that came after brought in with Joshua, that's not a King James Bible. There are King James Bibles. You, you see the highlight. It says, with Jesus. There are King James Bibles out there that changed Jesus to Joshua. Jesus belongs there. You know what the devil's done? The devil has it. You can have a King James Bible. And it is not a King James Bible. How's that? I'm going to tell you right now, you got it on recording. You don't need to splice, cut, or slice and dice. I'm going to tell you the modern Bibles are from Satan. 
They're not written of the Holy Spirit. They're written on the flames of hell. Anybody who teaches and preaches from a new modern Bible, other than a King James, I believe if you are saved, you're going to lose greatly and get hay, wood, and stubble for your modern Bible. Some of them we, we went through today.